It is the 2nd of the 2nd, 2013, and this is today's climate change update. Got a whole lot of shaking going on today, so uh, buckle up. Earth reeling from eight major earthquakes striking in five days. An earthquake of magnitude 6.7 struck off the coast of Solomon Islands, Santa Cruz, and the Pacific Ocean, the USGS said on Friday. The earthquake was later downgraded by the USGS to a 6.3 magnitude event. The depth of the quake was at 10 kilometers, or 6.2 miles, and the epicenter was 68 kilometers southwest of Lada. The quake hit at 9.16 a.m. local time on Saturday, and the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center did not immediately issue alerts on its website. The quake was underscored by an event stronger 6.9 magnitude earthquake that has struck the Hokkaido region of East Japan on February 2nd. This is the eighth major earthquake to strike the planet in the last five days. The present cluster of earthquakes began with a 6.0 event in eastern Kazakhstan on January 28th, following a full moon on January 27th, 2013. And, uh, yeah, there is a whole lot of shaking going on. Time to pay attention. Of course, the 6.9 earthquake, um, in northern Japan, the northern island of Japan there. Uh, expect f higher food prices thanks to the drought, and we've been warning you against this uh, all summer long. The drought devastating Midwest farmers and ranchers will fully reach its, its tentacles from the field to your table this year. Of course, we eat last year's crops. It's just the way it works. And uh, we hardly had any crop at all last year. According to a recent USDA report, the USDA experts food price to rise largely because many Midwestern corn farmers weren't able to grow a full corn crop. That is an understatement. Being here in Iowa, I know full well the damages, and so do most, if not all, the farmers around me. Farmers or ranchers around the country spent last year screaming about the drought ravaging their fields and wrecking their harvests. But thanks to the complex food system, which often takes months for food to travel from farm to grocery store, consumers didn't feel much of a pinch. The food section of the Consumer Price Index, which measured the relative cost of food, rose only 0.5% in 2012. The USDA expects it to grow 3-4% to this year and increase above the historical average. That is a way lowball price. Irish politician calls for inquiry into the rising food prices, and people are taking advantage. U.S. food prices rising sharply, up 9% from December to January, 15% increase in just January alone. Uh, vermin plague expected to follow floods in Australia. If they don't have enough problems as it is, their crops are in danger as well. So this is not just the United States. This is a global um, food crisis situation. And uh, they're polluting the Pacific Ocean with radiation. Uh, and there's that 6.3 earthquake, uh, the Solomon Islands. And... Uh, Another 6.0 in the Solomon Islands. There's been a lot going on in the Solomon Islands. The Extinction Protocol is running a story. Uh, Year of the Comet. Third comet set to make appearance in April 2013. Uh, Green Comet Lemon 2013 could be the Year of the Comet. Uh, comet Pan Stars is set to become a naked eye object in March. Followed by a possibly great comet, Ison, in November. Now that's the one to watch. Uh, they say we'll be able to see that one in the daytime. And, uh, yeah, just a whole lot of stuff going on in outer space as well. And uh, aren't we due for a meteor close, very close call on the 15th. Um, very, very close call on the 15th of February. And they've got the Earth reeling story, of course, from the, all the earthquakes. Scottish Highlands hit by the largest earthquake in 120 years. A 2.4 magnitude earthquake has been recorded in one of the most northerly parts of the United Kingdom. Strange things indeed. Uh, nine people killed as freak hailstorm hail rains ice boulders in an Indian vi village in India. The size of these hailstones are 
insane. Uh, they got some pictures, of course. <sighs> wow. Fields of fire, four volcanoes now erupting simultaneously in Kamachka. Now that's that Russian peninsula that's just north of Japan where they had that big 6.9 earthquake. Well, there's a whole lot going on up there as well. A volcanic eruptions are hardly a rarity. It seems that a new one goes off every few weeks or somewhere in the world. But a string of four volcanoes erupts, erupting in close proximity to one another is virtually unheard of. That, though, is what's taking place in recent weeks on the Kamanska Peninsula in Russia's far east. And you remember, they've got ten volcanoes um, up in Warren right about the same time. And, uh, yeah, big earthquake stories there, too. Let's go ahead and go over to the nuclear stuff, e, &E News. Government warns of impending quake shortly before uh, M magnitude 6.9 hit northern Japan. Quote, make yourself safe, turn off the gas. They had a little warning on this. NHK inside Fukushima. Highest radiation on the tour was found between Pacific Ocean and reactor number three. 1,370 microsieverts per hour were detected. Now this is a Kush Japanese piece for sure. A chilling warning seen in newly released Fukushima images shows highly radioactive debris near reactor number one marked danger and they have photos of that. US nuclear expert we are currently experiencing a cyber attack. Email systems are also compromised. Fukushima video, our hometown became Chernobyl. Nuke worker, quote, I finally understood you, Mom. You're right. TEPCO, got to hell. G-O-T to hell. Over 150 U.S. service members say Fukushima radiation has triggered medical issues. Now Defense Department abandons medical registry, leaving them on their own. Leaving them out to hang. Report oil sheen in, uh, in waterway almost a half a mile from giant sinkhole in the bayou corn. Uh, soon to be late corn. <laughs> Staggering numbers of cancers, illnesses, and birth defects linked to nuclear waste? Question mark. Over 700 cases found in only four square miles. Quote, there is something very wrong. Yeah. Fairwinds website is under verified DDS attack. Another nuclear expert site has similar problems, both involved with San Ofri issue. What is the nuclear, nuclear industry hiding? Question mark. Uh, that is the question of the species. What are they hiding? And what have they done? What have they done? Uh, video, Japan burning Fukushima, Fukushima debris 10 miles from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plants. You know, they're and all that ash is up in the air and sails across the Pacific Ocean onto our crops and our fisheries. But don't worry folks, everything's completely under control. Nothing to worry about. They'll warn us if anything's wrong, won't they? Pilot, large amounts of tsunami debris coming ashore. Quote, holy crap, all of a sudden you see all this stuff. Of course, and what they're not telling you about is whether or not this is radioactive, whether or not that all the chemicals in the industries that were up and down the Japanese coast that got swept into the Pacific Ocean is a huge stew of toxic chemical who knows what coming up against the shore of uh, Western Canada and the United States of America. Where does our rain come from, people? It is soaked up from the ocean into the clouds and dumped onto the ground and into our crops and onto us. Wake up, everybody. Wake up to what's really going on here. Uh, U.S. government considered immediately evacuating all citizens living in Japan, including the entire military. And uh, I did reports on them evacuating their families from 300 kilometers. And all those servicemen that were in that and have to deal with this. This will go on and on and on and on. And on. And finally today, I'm going to take you over to Fukushima uh, Diary. There's some pretty uh, 
eye-opening stuff going on. Quote, no radiation, or no radiation involved. Quote, most of the presentation vegetables were deformed from um, Nishigu Mura Fukushima. Introducing the important tweet for more simultaneous updates. My mom was presented vegetables, carrots and potatoes, from uh, Nikishurma, N-I-S-H-I-G-O-M-U-R-A, Fukushima, but most of them were deformed. Only vegetables and fish are deformed, not human. Human is really strong. I mean, it's lost in translation, of course, but that's insane. Only four smelt samples collected in Hurana Lake, 340 becquerels per kilogram measured, but fishing restriction is lifted. Enjoy your seafood, everyone. Um, prices are about to get crazy in the grocery stores, so people are going to be fishing to eat. And with all that happiness, I'm just going to go ahead and call it a day. So uh, no matter where you are, enjoy what you can. I am. Thanks, everybody.